What is happening guys, Son of Beast here. Game 6 is Toronto Maple Leafs and Tampa Bay Lightnings. So far we have completed the other games that we have already done here so far. And the Kings and Oilers will be happening next year after this game is over. So it will be underway very soon to have the switch off teams come back in between. So the Maple Leafs and Lightnings, who will win Game 6? Right now Toronto Maple Leafs it's coming back here in the lead, 3-2. Will the Lightning force Game 7? Or will Toronto Maple Leafs take on against the Florida Pampers? The decision we'll be making after this game starts now. Let's see who can face the win. Back at Amalie Arena, and let's get the show on the road. Jay Sabolski, Greg Ferraro, and along the EA Sports crew, it's all yours. Enjoy the game. You've been waiting all day for this, and it's about time. Hi, everybody, along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Savalski here for EA Sports. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Let's do this. The puck is dropped. We're underway. Tampa Bay's got the puck in their own end. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Big time stop. He drops that shoulder and drives the net with such great speed. It's tough for the defenseman to deny him, but the goalie makes the save. Toronto's moving it into the offensive end. Snaps him from the slot. Oh, stick save and a puke. Vasilevsky's able to angle that save over to the corner so there's no rebound. The Leafs have it now. The Bulls gain possession in their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Here he is in close. That's blocked by Campbell. Great right from the most dangerous area on the ice. The goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Jake Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Still scoreless in this one. The Bulls will go to work here in the offensive zone. Takes a wrist shot, shuts it down with a paddle, what a stop. Really good work, I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goalie's just better on this time. With possession along the wall. Tampa Bay's got the puck. Working the puck deep inside the road end. Cutting to the slot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Campbell. has a knack for getting open so his teammates can set him up for his signature one-timer, guys. That's his one T zone ability, and it's something the other team has to be mindful of. Puck scooped up by Hedman. Oh, gets a blocker on it to turn it away. Slides it on over to Mikheyev. Gains the zone on the left wing. Here he is, shot in front, and that goes off the player in front. Puck picked up by Hedman. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Nice pass. And he makes the save. There's the whistle as the puck goes into the back of the net, but I think they're going to close this off as the play was blown dead beforehand. The Leafs win it in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Mikheyev. Dumps it into the O zone. Tampa Bay's got a hold of it along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Off a stick. Campbell's going to hang on to the puck for the whistle. Points won the draw. Cuts into the paint. Stopped by the goaltender. He's sharp on this one, out on top of the crease, aggressively to make the save. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you, so glad you could join us. Still no score in this one. And now it's grabbed by McDonough. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. And they'll jump it in. The Lightning have gained possession off the wall. Moves 
Russell to the offensive zone. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. The Leafs played along the boards. And that one's broken up. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. These are frustrating. You don't get many chances like this. I thought he made a good shot, but the goalie, an excellent stop, beats the shooter. And he takes a shot. Blocked in front. From seven, they get into the attacking area. Let's him fly. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Grabbed along the board by Point. First goal in game six is Andre. He used his wheel zone ability to jump in on that rush and set up that goal, guys. It all happened so fast, and that speed was key to create. Gold goal. It's first goal in the playoffs. Score by number 26, OJ Pella. This first is by number 23, Ben Stamkos. And by number, number 16, Stein Stankos. Time of the goal, 4.43 remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Let's go, Bolts! In game six, I meant. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Bolts now lead by two. Bolts goal! Here's first goal of the playoff score by number 20, 14, Patrick Maroon. His first assist here by number 41, Alan Palmer. And by number 20, Braden Boyce. Time of the goal. 9.43 remaining in first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Toronto's cut the lead to one. They're back in center ice and ready to get back into this thing. My favorite part about this is the coaches on both benches are going to be pulling their hair out. The highlight Toronto goal. His first goal of his playoff score by number 16, Taller Hall. Time of the goal. Time of the goal. 8.43 remaining in the 846 remaining in the first the period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Floats it right onto the tape. The Lightning have taken possession of their own end. They go on the attack through center. Here's a chance. And there's a save. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Matthews has that shock and awe zone ability, which is when he takes out the opposition, then ends the play with a quick shot into the cage. Hedman's able to steady his team defensively and still contribute points. Those are two players I'm going to watch closely to see if one of them can be a difference maker for their team tonight, guys. Back to you. Here's a shot. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Vasilevsky. And there's another stop. Good technique as the puck is over to the corner out of the way. Tampa Bay's got it along the wall. Great poke check on the reach. Taken by Brady. 
picking up steam. Dumps it in. Tampa Bay's got the puck along the wall. And serves up a little knock on the play. Snaps it on net. They score! They tie it up. They've been working hard to get this game back to level. And that goal will do it. More than half the frame has been played here. We are all tied up in this one. Toronto goal, his first goal of the playoffs, scored by number three, David Kahn. Time of the goal, 12-24, remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Season scored by number for the playoffs, scored by number 17, Austin Matthew. Got of the His first assist here by number 88, oh, William Nylander, and by number 37, Nick Time of the goal, 1543 remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Goal of a playoff score by number 14, David Pera. His first assist here by number 25, and Kudrov, and by number 88, Ryan McDonough. Time of the goal, 16:42 remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Let's go, Bolt! Scored by number 15, David Kemp. His first assist here by number 40, 44, Michelle O'Reilly. Time of the goal, 18, 42 seconds in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs.
The Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end and tries to make a diagonal pass to Kerfoot. Toronto's on the attack. Right in front with the shot. Slides the paddle in there and pokes it away. Sends a pass over. The Bolts take it along the wall. Last minute in the first period. Second period up next after this. It's time now for the second period. One goal lead, two more to go. Second first goal in the playoffs, scored by number 44, Morgan Riley. His first assist to it by number three, Calvin Cole. Time of the goal, 440. Sorry, time of the goal, 442 remaining the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Kucherov, denied by the goaltender. 
Campbell's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Leafs have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. The Bolts get a hold of the puck in their own end. Odd man rush. And there's a great save by Campbell. Paul's got him along the wing. The Lightning have gained control of the puck along the wall. And now it's grabbed by Block. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Let's the rest are Bolts goal! His first goal in his playoff score by number 21, Braden Point. His first season assist by number 43, I'm Perry. And by number 91, Helen Credit. Time and a goal. 11.43 to go in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Let's go, Bolts! So much time left here. They're looking for a tying chance for the Lightnings to pick it up. Let's see how well they can do. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Nice pass. Matthews carries it through the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Bunting. The Leafs play it along the wing. Tampa Bay's got the puck in their own end. Nice zone entry on the left side. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. The Leafs take it along the wing. 
Intercepted at center by Kucherov. Quick pass to point. The Leafs look to start the transition game. Slides it over with pace to Brody. Nice zone entry from the middle. Makes a move in front. Aaron pass and they can't connect. The Bolts take it across the blue line. Quick feed to Perry. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. I thought they worked the puck around pretty good. Here they get a good chance on goal, but not to be. Past the midway mark in this period. The Leafs are holding on to a one-goal lead. It's 5-4. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. There's a shot. That's blocked by Vasilevsky. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Official signals for the players to get into position and we're about ready to drop the puck. Tampa Bay's got it in the defensive zone. Chernak's taking it from his own end. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. The Bulls looking against the half wall. And that one stopped. Blocked in traffic. Oh, wow, stops again. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Tavares wins the faceoff. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. Nylander's going to play it against the half wall. Rishna from the slot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Smothered that in close chance. Getting into the later stages of this period. Toronto's got a 5-4 lead here at what has been a thrilling display of offense. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Turned aside with a glove. Still more time left. But there's a lot more that they need to do to try to get him back in the game. Tavares wins it in the offensive zone. Puck picked up by Nylander. The ball sliding through center. Here's a short pass to Perry. That's kicked away with a pad by Campbell. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. That's a big time hit along the wall. In his dreams, I love the way he used the angle. He took away all the ice. He puts the body into a little bumper car hockey. Harry's got it across the line. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Both teams ready here for the faceoff. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Picked up along the boards by Brody. Toronto's looking to break out. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Puts it in deep. The Bulls have it against the wall. Finds some space in the corner. Goes right to the crease. Gives them nothing in front. Uh, he's going to feel he missed one there. They don't get many chances that clean. The goalie turns it aside. Huge glove save by Vasilevsky. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Toronto's got possession here in the neutral zone. Takes the feet at the back end. Turns him away. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Matthews likes to deke his way to the net, then get a quick shot off to score. Guys, let's see if he can surprise the goalie tonight by using his shot and odd zone ability in this one. Comes up with a stop. Loose puck battle along the boards. Picked up along the wall by point. Gets the puck over to Kucherov. Gains the zone on the left wing. Gets a glove on it to make the stop. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Here are the late goings of the period. The Leafs are in an offensive battle tonight. They lead it 5-4. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Last 
last minute in a second period. Fighting between the action zone, Alley. We're going to see if the Lightnings can try to strike them back here in the third period, or Toronto Maple Leafs could definitely take a win and then move on to the second round. It's coming up after this one. Third period will be underway shortly when we come back. Are you ready for third period? Let's see if there's a win for a Volts or go home. goes offside on the bolts. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've got a 5-4 game. Sorelli's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Moves it to Stamkos. Sorelli's got the puck. Denies him with the pad. Right in front of the net. Toronto's got possession of the puck. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. That's a textbook save by Vasilevsky. Get that slot out of here. He makes the stop. And there's no rebound. Off in the corner it is. And now it's over to Sorelli. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Taken by Hedman. Gains the zone from the right. Moves the puck. Grabs him with the glove. They work the puck into the scoring spot. Get a pretty good chance on goal. 
They just can't find a way to finish it off. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. The Leafs win the draw. Tries to get the puck over to Nylander. Along the wing up the neutral zone. The Bulls take possession in the defensive end. And now he moves it to Hedman. Hammers a shot. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Oh, another consecutive stop. Toronto's in transition. Shot turned aside with the glove by Vasilevsky. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Still lots of time left in the period. Nine goals and counting so far. It's 5-4. Puck grab by Chernak. The Bulls will play it in their own end. And he regains control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Kucherov. Oh, a clutch save! Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Matthews has it in the defensive end. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Lays into the body on the play. Vasilevsky's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. There's still got some a lot of a uh, pretty percentage out there. A lot of in between the fighting of USA and Canada. Since the first game, it was not that close. It was a tough and brutal matchup. Across the blue line. Campbell's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Points won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. Points won the draw here in the offensive zone. And that one's turned away. Scooped up along the wall by Kucherov. Stops him again. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Still more time left. They need the Tampa Bay to get this a goal and force them to game seven. Tampa Bay's got it and they're on the attack. Shot, they score! The kid at Kucherov, the former Hart Trophy winner, comes up with a big one. It's now tied, 5-5. Five, five. The Lightning have been chipping away, chipping away, and they have finally tied things up. I like that they didn't start to take any crazy chances. They just did what they Bolt score! His first goal of the playoff score by number 81, Andre Kucherov. His first assist here by number 27, Alexander Karpin. And by number 15, M. M. Hachi. Time of the goal, 8.46 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Let's go, Bolts! Toronto penalty, Mitchell Marner, two minutes for tripping. It's a bold power play! A chance to capitalize here on the power play. This is where your big boys get to really earn their money. Out on the power play for the very first time tonight. Two minutes for tripping for Mitchell Marner, for tripping here in Toronto. Time and a minute here, 11 09 remaining. Two minutes 30, Lightning's power play. Possession here. 
from inside the offensive zone. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Campbell's going to hang on for a whistle. Eight balls ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Leafs take possession off the faceoff. Puck cleared from the defensive end. The Bulls gain control of the puck against the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. From point blank range, Campbell's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Eggballs won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And they send it down the ice. The Bolts have it behind the cage. This is point night. Everybody, it seems, is on the board with either a goal or an assist. And since it's not over, even if you don't have one, you've got a chance still. This game is going to have goals right until the final horn. Camp's ready for the try as they continue to be shorthanded here. Toronto's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Grabbed along the board by Kerfoot. Can't connect on the pass. Marner's up and ready to join the play. Toronto's man is out of the box and we're back to even strength. Now the Old school, his first goal in the playoffs, scored by number 17, Alice Kulor. And his first assist here by number 77, Hayden Stankos. Time and goal, 10.46 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Let's go, Bolts! Is that. And wow, it was a tough one. We got a battle in between. Toronto goal. His first goal of a playoff score by number 13, Timothy Lelgren. And his first assist here by number 16, Byron Murray. Down to goal. 10, 10 free, three remaining in this third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. one could be a goal or before we go to overtime. Moving it along the wing. 
takes a wrist shot. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Couldn't complete the pass. Lilbrick's got it in the defensive end. Pinned up along the boards. Tries to the crease. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Riley's got the puck in his own zone. From Sunday, they get into the attacking area. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. Vasilevsky's contortionist zone ability means he can make all of the desperation saves to keep the puck out of the net. And guys, it's just so exciting when he gives it his all. The Bulls get a hold of the puck in their own end. Kevin's stick handling in his own zone. Tampa Bay's got the puck against the half wall. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Here's a chance. No room for that one to get through. Here's a shot. And now it's grabbed by Ruda. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. The Bulls get a hold of the puck. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. Takes a shot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Picked up along the boards by Kucherov. Takes a shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. A critical draw here. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And the intensity starts to ramp up here after that hit. The Leafs take it across the blue line. Nice zone entry from the middle. And skill using the stick to poke the puck away. Matthews plays it now. Slides it diagonally to point. From the left side, they gain the zone. Moves inside! Campbell's gonna slow things down and up for the whistle. But you gotta kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. The Bulls win it. Puck picked up by McDonough. Toronto's got control of it now. Last minute in a third period. He's going to hold of the puck along the boards. Under a minute to play in this dandy. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Here's a shot. And that makes off a stick. Slides into Kalorn. Into the attacking area from the left side. Here's a short pass to Sorelli. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Good save. Positional save through traffic. Blacks into the offensive zone. Tampa Bay's got the puck along the wall. The Bulls have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Kalorn. Tampa Bay's in now. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Kasha. Lets it fly and makes a save. Sends a pass over. And there's the buzzer. 60 minutes have been played, and we are still tied. Let's go to overtime, and we'll do that next here on EA Sports. And just like that, Game 6 happens to be real time here on NHL Stanley Cup playoffs, just like it happened here in Tampa. But now, this is about to be happening here in overtime. Who's going to win, and who's going to go home? Well, can the Lightnings take the force to Game 7? Or Toronto wins here to face the upset of a second streak over on Tampa Bay. It's coming up after this. All right, the moment you've been waiting for, it's about time to do overtime here for Game 6 of Stanley Cup Playoffs. We know this was going to happen before, and we already know that real time was Tampa Bay. They forced into Game 7. They got a lot of pressure here on man advantage on offense. 
but there isn't much time that we have here before. There might be a very tough matchup that might be happening here on either side. So it may be tricky, but we don't know what will happen if the team gets right into the game. So we have to find out if they can win or not. Right now, let's see what happens in real time here on the NHL 22 of this game for the Stanley Cup playoffs if the Ever teams can score. To face on against the Florida Panthers in the conference semifinals. Now, the game of overtime starts now. You love these moments of drama if you're a sports fan, and overtime is set to get underway. Overtime has begun, Ray. I know you love these moments. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And there's the save. Hedman's moving the puck through his own zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Marner's gaining momentum. Let's have a look one more time. That was Morgan Riley that made a win. In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray, I'm James, good night. Wow. What an upset here. The second streak of the winning Stanley Cup champions of Lightnings are out in the playoffs. Oh man, I could have bet this would have been a much better game than we have. But let's have a look at the three star players to game. Number three we have is Andre Pallad, two goals and one assist. He did a great job helping them out here in the regulation time. And then the second star, that one goes out to Braden Point. One goal, two assists, and one hit. Making another career here after game five completion. And the number one star that does turn out the better player, the man of Morgan Riley. 
two goals, one assist, and four, four hits, and game winner. That happens to be the end of the Eastern Conference first round on the other side. So the next game that will be happening here for the last one will be the Kings and Oilers here at Canada or, or the LA if game necessary for each team's tied or win. So it's the chance in between those two, between Canada team, Canadian team, or the USA team of the LA Kings and Oilers in between each zones. So the second round we'll be facing up here will be the Tampa, will be Toronto Maple Leafs facing against the Florida Pampers. And then New York Rangers facing against the, the toughest team in the history making in the top seed, the Carolina Hurricanes. That might be a very tough unbound, but we don't know what will appear. So, Abs and the other team, of course, we talked about it before, Minnesota Wilds beating the Wild, being a Wild of the in craziest town here of Minnesota. And for that one, the Nashville Predators are already out in the uh, playoffs. That will be happening here when we get right back in between NBA playoffs and the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. So the next game is coming up when we get a quick break and we will be back with you to get started here for the last game in the Western Conference of the first round. Will it be a win for Oilers or Kings win and force game seven? It will be happening until then. Thank you all for watching and peace out everyone for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. This has been a presentation of the first round of the Eastern Conference quarterfinals of the first round. Thank you so much for your time and for always, we will see you on the other side for the Western Conference quarterfinals on the other side. See you folks next time.